Hello everyone and welcome to NXT, the final edition of NXT from the Hammerstein Ballroom. The final weekly show of NXT before NXT take over the end. We are one week away from the demise of NXT, but yet yeah, tonight they are going out with one hell of a bang. It'll be an NXT TakeOver Brooklyn rematch later on tonight as Shayna Baszler goes one-on-one -on -one against Io Shirai. But for our main event of the evening, a big tag team matchup as well as the duo of Hangman Page and Brody King take on the NXT Global Champion Tomohiro Ishii and the number one contender to the NXT Championship itself in Jay Lethal. But tonight we will start things off here with the first Women's matchup of the evening as the four women involved in that fatal four-way match for the NXT Women's Championship are here tonight. And they will be doing battle. Tony Storm to take on Charlotte here. Later on, of course, as you saw, we'll have Shayna Baszler and Io Shirai locking horns as well. So here we are for the final time in the Hammerstein Ballroom. NXT here one last time and looking to put on a big show and looking to go out with one big bang in this arena plenty to look forward to here this evening lij are in the building we're gonna have a rematch from the dusty roads tag team classic finals between lij and cck we have this contest between storm and charlotte who knows what else could happen on this show this evening it is time to find out tony storm stands in the ring awaiting the arrival of her opponent Charlotte Flair making her way out here this evening. We saw how last week's edition of NXT ended with quite a bit of chaos surrounding the four women in that fatal four way. We saw Charlotte Flair assaulting Io Shirai backstage and laying her out with natural selection. And even though she had already tapped out, we saw Tony Storm being locked back in the Ace of Spades clutch that resulted in her being forced to tap again over and over again just so Shayna Baszler could prove her point about her sole dominance. And right now it is going to be Charlotte and Storm locking horns, two of the challengers in the NXT Women's Championship match. And of course we will have that NXT TakeOver Brooklyn rematch coming for you just before the main event between Shayna Baszler and Io Shirai. you got to imagine there's a grudge between those two women after the fashion in which that match ended. Charlotte, of course, defeated Mayuri Watani to qualify for this fatal four-way contest. Tony Storm defeated Candice LeRae in order to secure that position as well. And then she was assaulted by Shayna Baszler, who is trying to do everything that she can to prove that she is the dominant force heading into this fatal four-way match. Right now, though, it is Storm and Charlotte colliding in the ring right now. You can see Charlotte has the height advantage over Tony Storm as they get into this Colonel tie-up here. Storm will work her way into the arm here, Charlotte. Trying to wear her down a little bit, trying to do what she can here. Shot with the go behind Hammerlock, sixed in here. Storm comes up with the counter though with a Hammerlock of her own on Charlotte. Is Storm in trouble? Maybe, look out, Charlotte there takes her down into a position where she could apply the Fujiwara armbar. Storm flips her way out, nicely done indeed. And now Storm ditching the call level, tire press thing again, straight into the shots here. Forearms, open handed palm strike to whatever she can come up with. Charlotte counters, right edge chop, forearms, and some good shots here. To knock Storm off balance and in a massive electric chair. Sends her completely off her feet. What a knife edge chop as well from Charlotte. Oh, no sidewalk slam there, however. Storm evaded. And a tiger suplex in response. Great counter from Storm. Is it enough? Yeah, not quite. It's a counter too early on in this contest, however. Great move from Tony Storm, though, to execute down a Saito suplex. will come down to Charlotte now. You have to wonder, even though they're in action here later on this evening, is Shayna Baszler or Io Shirai watching on ahead of their matchup? Are they watching on to take notes of the other challengers in this ring? It could very well be the case. And we are going to find out. Look out here, what is Tony Storm doing? Oh my goodness! Look at that dragon sleeper being locked in here. Look at the way she has that locked in. Look at the way the Charlotte's back is bending here. I know she's pretty athletic for the figure eight, but that is not usually the position her body winds up in. But she is not going to tap out here. 
Got her way free of that one. Back up to a vertical basis and a back elbow will knock Storm off her feet. Tony Storm right now on the back foot here. Charlotte has it right where she wants it. Nice neck breaker by Charlotte. Brings her off her feet there. And let's see what will happen now. Another knife edge chop from Charlotte. Oh, she is raining those in. Hard forearm in the face as well. Can't capitalize though. Storm does counter and then pushes her into the mat there. Using her own arm against him. Tony Storm, look out. Double underhook suplex. Sent her for a ride as she picks Charlotte back up to her feet here. Up that cut, look out now. Storm with a big two-footed dropkick and getting a full head of steam as she hits another one down on Charlotte there. Double drop kicks in the face. Tony Storm will hook the leg here as she put away Charlotte Flair on her way to take over the end. It's not quite, it's a kick out of two. Again, the shoulder comes up in time. Again, Tony Storm unable to put away Charlotte there, but she is staying on focus right now. Charlotte, though, able to come in with the counter kick in the gut. Look out. Neck breaker comes in. Tony Storm unable to capitalize. Vibrant's carry turned into a vicious flapjack into the mat there. Pretty brutal from Charlotte now, who has just taken control of this contest and taken the fight out from Tony Storm. Covers off of that neck breaker. Looking for the win, but Tony Storm able to kick out at the count of one man. It's always been a strong point to it. The resiliency. Oh, drop kicked her right in the front of her knee. Charlotte grabbing onto her knee there. That could have done a lot of damage. Tony Storm, though, staying on focus right now. German suplex on Charlotte. And now Storm looking for victory. Looking for strong zero. Is she going to get it? No. Charlotte got the counter. Counter the leg there. Look out. Rolls her up from behind. Clutches over her as well. Covers in position. And Charlotte got her. All she needs is a little opening like that. A take over the end as well. And she becomes NXT Women's Champion. Charlotte, your winner. Storm beaten off of a roll up. If Charlotte does that at TakeOver, we have a new and final NXT Women's Champion. Oh my goodness, what's transpiring back here? Tony Nice assaulting evil. LIJ would do an action up next. And then Luam Da and a trash can. Otsanada. The new foundation have responded to their back to back defeats. Evil taken out of the parking lot. Sanada taken out in the back. Don't be fooled even remotely from what we just saw back there from the new foundation. Bret Hart may have called it a setback last week. It seems as if at least to Tony Nisa Nwanda, that was complete 
and utter crap from the Hitman because they're certainly taking it personal if they go into actions such as that, assaulting. Evil and Sonata before their contest this evening, laying them out in the back. Next week, a takeover the end. There is going to be vengeance coming their way. Brody King with something to say about Ishii there as well. He believes he saw fear in the eyes of the NXT Global Champion. Well, we'll see if that fear is the case when they lock horns later on this evening in that tag team matchup for our main event. But right now, one-on-one -on -one competition here. It is going to be Cassius Ono going up against Elias. We saw Elias last week going up against Jonathan Gresham in a rebound match. Well, a return match, rather, should be the correct way of saying that, between both men. The last time they were in the ring, Elias picked up a roll-up victory over Jonathan Gresham. Last week, it was Jonathan Gresham's turn to get the roll-up win over Elias, and he secured it. Elias, very heated following up from that defeat, very disappointed, very angry from that loss. Demanded a contest here in the final NXT, and he got his opportunity as he will go one-on-one -on -one against Cassius Ono here tonight as both men are vitally looking for a contract heading into the next series of Universe. For these two guys, this is really going to be their last chance saloon to impress yet. And they're going to have to do everything that they can. Right now, though, we are going to see what will happen here between these two. Like I said, it is a must win for the pair of them. And we'll see how that'll go. Already a lot happening here tonight, especially in the backstage there. Shayna Baszler with something to say about uh, her contenders, her fellow contenders as well. Kind of dismissing them ahead of a matchup with the Osha Rai later on this evening. And then that attack from the new foundation on LIJ. And then Brody King with plenty to say as well about Tomohiro Ishii. It's all kicking off in the backstage in the ring right now, though. We are thankfully returning to action. Cash is Ono looking for a big power bomb. Counter is made there by Elias. Punches his way free off the shoulders of Ono and comes in. With a drop kick taken. Ao off his feet. In the corner we go now. Oh, big knee in the chest there from Elias. The drifter going to work here. Stomping away. Quick stomps in the gutter. Cash is Ono repeating them as well. Giving Ono little to no time to breathe, really. Just forced to endure the shots. And oh, backbreaker comes down there from Elias on Ono. Soon you see the frustration shining through Elias in this ring right now. He is 100% far from pleased with what transpired last week against Jonathan Gresham. And he's trying to showcase that right now against Cassius Ono. Every way possible. Chinlock being applied here to Ono. Elias showing little to no forgiveness and little to no cockiness either in the ring. Oh no, though, that's fine with him. If you want to show no cockiness, if you want to be all about business, then that's just fine. Cassius Ono more than okay with getting down to business. Look out, Cravat suplex. From the king of cravats. And Cassius Ono. Right hand backs Elias up into the turnbuckle here. Now this is Ono's chance to take full advantage. Right hands coming down on Elias. Oh, but Elias pushes him away there. Smart thinking from Elias as he will take him down now. Utez press, shoot, uh, shooting away there. With a good number of shots coming down on Ono. Right hand, countered. Overhand left from Ono instead is his reversal. Elias got to, off to a good start, but all of a sudden he started to peter out here. Now it's Cassius Ono who started to come back. Neck crack there. Ono goes into the cover. Look at that, put him away, my goodness. Elias kicking out before a count could even be made. Uh-oh, just because he was able to kick out as early as possible does not mean that he's in any good shape whatsoever. There's a power bomb from Ono. And it's not ending there, crossing the legs over. Oh, Regal stretch locked in here. Regal stretch applied from Cassius Ono. Paying homage to William Regal with it. Is he going to tap Elias out with it? No, Elias does a... Does the job to roll his way out from that one. Look out now, big time German suplex. No roll up attempts from Elias at this contest either. You can certainly see that he wants to beat Cassius Ono in this ring. Not just pin him, looked for an elbow drop off the second rope. No one was home, however, and Ono will make him pay. He crosses the arms over straight 
jacket, power bomb again. Elias sent into the mat, had a golden opportunity off of that elbow drop, missed it, and now it seems as if he's about to suffer some torment from oh no. Discus, big boot, comes down on Elias. And be prepared to mark it up as the beginning of the end for Elias in this one. Death by elbow. Elias wanted a rebound. Well, he might well have a concussion instead. Oh no, hooks the leg, makes the cover, and with two and three, puts him away. Cassius Ono, your winner this evening. Elias was hoping to do everything possible for that rebound. He was hoping to get that win under his belt. He was hoping to rebound. But it was anything but the case. Cassius Ono upsetting Elias, getting the win here this evening. And was it that all important win to secure a future for Ono? Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for our NXT TakeOver Brooklyn rematch. A little earlier than we anticipated due to the actions of the new foundation. But it is here nonetheless, it is time for Shayna Baszler and Io Shirai to lock horns in this ring. Last time they collided, of course, was at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. It was a match that was 80% dominated by Shayna Baszler, I think is the best way of putting it. She controlled the match. She just shut down Io Shirai, really. Moonsault, not a chance. Suplet to Io, only got two. Everything Shirai tried, Shayna Baszler just stuffed it. She threw it out of the window, essentially, and she dominated the contest. She had the Ace of Spades clutch locked in, and we thought that was game over. Shirai flipped over and was able to retain by the skin of her teeth. We kind of sensed that there was going to be have to be a conclusion between these two women because the way the match ended at TakeOver it was simply not enough. It was simply not enough of a convincing title defense from Io Shirai on that evening. And the NXT gen uh, general manager, Logan Wayne, certainly saw that reasoning. He made it a fatal four-way in all fairness, but he did add another bout between Shirai and Baszler in that fatal four-way. He added Baszler to that fatal four-way right away without even need for a qualifying match. And here... He has given us a great contest as well as these two women will lock horns again. Which way will this contest go? Has Shirai learned from Brooklyn? Has she studied the tape? Has she found her way maybe to overcome Shayna Baszler? Or is it going to be more of the same from the Queen of Spades? Is she going to dominate Io Shirai like she did in Brooklyn? Is she going to leave victorious here tonight and prove why she is the dominant contender heading into that fatal four-way match and why she may well be the favorite as well. Bell rings and we are underway here. Let's see what'll happen. Straight to throw in down with one another. N little to no surprise there. No feeling out process. The stinging memory of TakeOver Brooklyn still sits within both women. And look at this now. Shirai taking out the legs from underneath Baszler there. She is getting off to a little bit of a better start than she did before. Oh, look out. Look out. Baszler sticks the landing and just stands there. As Shirai gets up to her feet as if to say, your plan failed. Look out now. Incoming. Snap suplex from Shayna Baszler. Floats over into an early cover. Shirai's foot in the rope, so says the referee. What will be the game plan for both women? For Baszler, will it be more of the same? as we saw a takeover Brooklyn for Shirai. How is she gonna be able to counter the game plan of Baszler? How is she gonna be able to fight back against it? We're gonna find out in this contest. Knee in the corner, no one home. Roll up from Shirai, trying to get things over and done with maybe as soon as possible. But a quick counter is made there, or rope break, rather. But Shirai with a back suplex there from having Baszler up against the ropes to hit in that one. Great stuff. This time she gets a German suplex. A forearm shot in the face now. What are we going to see here? We're going to see Shirai popping off with hard shots, chops, and right hands. 
Coming into Shayna Baszler right there. Shirai starting hot, but can she keep it up throughout this contest? Double underhook, face buster from the champion. I said earlier on in the evening as Shirai covers Baszler here, she put her away, no count of two. I said earlier on in the evening about if Charlotte and, when Charlotte and Storm were colliding, if Shirai and Baszler were watching, Baszler certainly was. Now we have to ask the question in the flip side of things. Are Storm or Charlotte watching the contest that they're seeing here between champion, of course, and I would say inarguably the biggest threat to Shirai's NXT Women's Championship as she hits a handspring moonsault there. Shirai will go to the top rope. Is she going to look for the real thing? Well, she's up high. Is she going to look for the moonsault that eluded her at takeover? Not yet. Calling Baszler to her feet. Meteora from a top rope. Double knees coming down on Shayna Baszler. Shirai goes into the cover here. Is it victory for Io? Oh, it's another counter too. The genius of the sky not able to put her away just yet. Shirai going to be frustrated about that one, but she came close. Maybe, just maybe, the moonsault could rear its face here into this contest. She is looking far greater in this matchup than she did at Brooklyn. That has to be said, but Baszler still able, as always, to find the counter when it's necessary. And now she is looking to break down the body here. Oh no, look out, German suplex. And all of a sudden, momentum has swung back into the favor of Baszler. Maybe a bit of commentators cursing or fairness. Shayna Baszler now in control. Camel clutch, but Shirai, thankfully for her sake, is in the ropes. And you can feel the energy kind of sapping out to this Hammerstein ballroom crowd. Kind of made there by Yo Shirai, however. Nicely done. Is she going to look for that face buster again? Yes, she will. And she'll get all of it. Planting Baszler into the mat there. Shirai looking to follow up here. Has her up on his shoulders. Looking at Trillo. Down into the mat with it as well. That is a perfect position, if ever I've seen one, for Shirai to capitalize. She'll go to the top rope. Here we go. Moonsault. Knees are up. Knees are up as they were at Brooklyn. Baszler had it red. And uses her knees again to plant Shirai into the mat. Covers made. Counter two. Lows, but no cigar on that one for Shayna Baszler. Almost, almost putting Shirai away, but not quite. There's a sidewalk slam. For Shirai to endure. And once again, just when it seemed like the opening was there, it's all gone away. It's all faded away in this matchup, and it's all going in the favor of Shayna Baszler once more. Shirai in big trouble right now. She needs to find a counter. She needs to find it fast. The opportunity for victory is quickly slipping away here. Shayna Baszler is returning to that dominant form we saw at Brooklyn. Oh no, from all the way up there. Superplex from Baszler! But Shirai, right up to her feet. Are you kidding me? Shirai as resilient as ever. Up to her feet and kick it away. Kicking Baszler off her feet. Here, Shirai coming right back. And driving out of the mat again. The chance is there once more. And Io knows it. Shirai sees it. She'll go to the top rope. Is it right in front of her? Moonsault. Oh, again, again. Somehow, Baszler knew the knees were up in time once again. That was Shirai's best chance he's ever had to put away Shayna Baszler, and it still wasn't enough. Double gut wrench suplexes. Oh no, oh no. She's gonna have to count on the luck that she had to take over Brooklyn once again because the ace of spades clutch is locked in and it is locked in tight it is locked in in the middle of the ring Shirai has been in this since Brooklyn has she found a way out of it again will she find out will she flip out as she did before Shirai taps Shirai taps 
The Queen of Spades has beaten the NXT Women's Champion. If you didn't believe that she was the biggest threat in that Fatal 4-Way before, well, you should now. Shayna Baszler just beat Io Shirai. Well, Charlotte, it seems, not impressed with the performance maybe that we just witnessed there. I certainly was because she beat the champion. Maybe Charlotte just trying to save some face before that fatal four-way contest. A takeover the end. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event of the evening. The final main event in the Hammerstein Ballroom. Hangman Page and Brody King to team up against Tomohiro Ishii and Jay Lethal. We are ready here. Hangman Page, I talked about last week, really being a do or die for him. Against uh, Montez Ford, I believe it was. Or was it Travis Banks? I think it was Travis Banks, actually. About how that was such a do or die performance for him, how he needed that win. If he wanted to have some kind of a future around here. He got that win, but I don't know if he's still secured his hopes going forward. We really don't know. I said it at the time, and I still stand by it now. ECW isn't really going to be a place for Hangman Page, I think. But I think turning my attention away from Hangman Page and into a guy who's absolutely going to be in this universe going forward, having secured, of course, a guaranteed contract via making it to NXT TakeOver the end, Brody King is absolutely on the radar of ECW. Brody King is showing here tonight to everyone why he is the number one contender to the NXT Global Championship. Why he was able to knock off Kalisto last week. And why he believes when he stared down with Ishii in the ring last week as well, following up from his victory, that he saw fear in the eyes of the NXT Global Champion. I'm not really too sure what to make of what he said there in that moment. I'm not too sure if I agree with King, but he had a much better look at Tomohiro Ishii than we did. He had a much better analogy, really, and an analysis of Tomohiro Ishii. Was there fear in Ishii? I didn't see any, but maybe Brody King saw something that we didn't. But we're going to find out if there is fear here tonight when they lock up in that ring. Uh, you got to imagine at some point King and... Ishii are going to lock horns, of course. In case you're wondering why Hangman Page is in this contest and not, you know, the, the guy who Jay Lethal is going to be fighting in NXT TakeOver the end in The Miz. Well, The Miz said it himself a number of weeks ago. He is refusing to compete in the Hammerstein Ballroom and refusing to compete for NXT until NXT TakeOver the end. So that is why Hangman Page is in his position here tonight. But one man I imagine who doesn't give a damn about The Miz is going to be this man, the NXT Global Champion, the Stop Pitbull himself, Tomohiro Ishii making his way out here this evening and as focused as ever on to getting a victory under his books and maybe on to proving to Brody King that there is no fear in the Stone Pitbull. There is no fear in Tomohiro Ishii. He doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. While we expected and while we wanted two champions to be in the ring, we have one champion, and I think a man who many people will be hoping is the next and final NXT champion. That is this man. Jay Lethal making his way out here. Lethal had a rebuttal to the Miz's words last week. Miz talked about two weeks ago about how he was going to 
end, really, about how he was going to embarrass the career of Jay Lethal and end it at TakeOver The End. Jay Lethal said he is not the first time he's been told that his career's over. And like everyone else who's told him, that's the case. He's not going to listen to them. Instead, he's going to walk in to take over the end. He's going to look the Miz in the eyes, and he is going to take that NXT Championship from him. I'm pretty sure Lethal said something along the lines of last week that he's sick and tired of waiting for take over the end. He just wants to get his hands on the Miz and take that title away from him. Well, they, a grudge, will finally be settled next week at NXT TakeOver The End. That is going to be a big show for this brand, the final show for this brand. A lot of futures are going to be found out on that evening, on that evening rather. All the general managers will be in attendance. And we will be closely analyzing what we see. Of course, we will be trying to get what we can the NXT roster as well. We already know that Juice Robinson and Rapongi 3K are out of commission, having gone to Monday Night War already. Juice already making his debut, but it is not about the rest of the NXT roster right now. It is about the men in this ring. It is about our main event of the evening here. It is time to see what will happen as Ishii and Hangman Page lock up to get us going. These two men, I believe, have collided in the past. Yeah. Colliding again here tonight. Brody King has certainly collided with Jay Lethal in the past as well. Brody King only has one loss on his resume, and that is to Jay Lethal. So maybe some revenge might be hunted here from Brody King. We'll find out right now. Louis Shee taking it to Hangman Page in the early goings of this contest. Big chance for Hangman Page to impress in the final NXT. And this could well be, of course. He's unable to impress the final performance of Hangman Page as well, given that he is not an NXT takeover. The end in the corner. Oh, here we go. Is there fear in the Stone Pitbull? Is there fear in Tommy Hiwarishi? Anything but. He'll meet him in the middle. Here we go. King and Ishii are throwing down. That all-seeing eye of Brody King seems to have been a little bit off of focus last week because Ishii is not afraid of King standing and trading in the middle of the ring. This is what we want to see. Two horses throwing down at one another. It's King though who seems to have the upper hand and it's King who nails a pile driver on Ishii. What's going to happen from here now? Big back elbow from Brody King coming in with the right hand as well. Look out now. Ishii may be in trouble. Will Barrow. German suplex. Good God. I know Brody King has the height advantage, but he's certainly demonstrating that he has one hell of a weight advantage as well over a man like Ishii. Sending all of his body weight into the turnbuckle there on that one. Look out now. German suplex. Oh, he ragdolled him. He ragdolled him. Ishii certainly getting thrown about right now. A look out here. Back comes Ishii. Not backing down. Hard shots raining in here. In the corner goes Brody King. And into this contest comes Jay Lethal as well. Big boot in the corner there into the gutter. Lethal! Oh, sorry, into the gutter. King by Lethal. Cutter connects. Cover is made. Looking to put away Brody King here. No. To get a big running head of steam for the lethal injection. I was just hoping that a leaping cutter would be enough instead. Not quite the case. But it's lethal and king here in the ring. Like I said, king is the. Sorry, lethal is the only man on king's record who has beaten him. And king will want to turn that around in this contest here. Brody King turning the momentum back around into his court, maybe, as he hits that shin breaker. I wonder if the NXT champion is watching on at all. I wonder if he has anything to make of the performance of his number one contender in the ring this evening as he's in Hollywood producing another one of his films as he likes to believe. Cover is made here by Brody King, but it's only for the count of one. Ishii plodding on there, and you could see King kind of looking over at Ishii in that moment there as well. He knows that it, uh, Ishii is watching on and King is doing all that he can to keep his eye on the man who he wants to take the gold from next week as well. Hangman Page tagged in now with that double team maneuver. Hangman Page and Jay Lethal have had their meetings in the past as well. Lethal having 
picked up the victory over him as well, I believe. Uh, Lethal has beaten everyone in the ring. Look out there, in comes a nice Death Valley driver from Hangman Page. The cover is made, the leg is hooked as he put him away here. The shoulders are up a two. Jay Lethal kicking out when it's absolutely necessary. Hard kick in the back. Hangman Page's chance though to impress you. Imagine what it would do for Hangman Page's rep really if he was able to defeat the number one contender to the NXT Championship on the final episode of NXT before TakeOver the end. Another Death Valley driver in the middle of the ring this time. Lethal rolling over onto his stomach there. Ishii trying to ask for a tag, nothing happening. Discus full run from the hangman and he'll go to the top rope here in the corner. Misses with it. Brody King can only watch on as Hangman Page misses with the elbow drop. Meanwhile, Lethal will make the tag into Tomohiro Ishii here. You see here, oh, some coordination from these two men. Stereo kicks into the chest of Hangman Page as well. Nicely done. Oh, there's nothing stereo about this. This is just a madman being let loose to do whatever the hell he wants. Headbutting away at Hangman Page. Ishii, now the legal man. Smacks him in the face. Slaps him in the face. Ishii just firing up Hangman Page here. May regret that though. What a belly to belly from Hangman Page. Great strength there in the corner now. Tag is made. Here we go. Brody King back in. These two men rocking horns once again, it seems like. Let's see what will happen here. Big Yuranagi slam. I have to say, in their encounters so far, it seems if Brody King has the advantage over Ishii. So while there may not be fear from the Stone Pitbull, there may well be an advantage that it. Brody King has over the Stoke Pitbull. King riling himself up as Ishii getting up to his feet, gives up his back, not what Brody King wanted. He gets a massive lariat. The cover is made. Is it game over? Hook of the leg, but the count at two. Hangman Page, meanwhile, taking it to Jay Lethal, just had a camera shot. Oh, using the ropes there. To Almost had a whiplash effect of sorts on Lethal. Meanwhile, in the ring, could we see another version of a challenger beating a champion? Not quite for him in the face from Ishii. What a step up into Gary as well. Ishii not backing down for a second. The Stout Pitbull back to firing away here in the turnbuckle now. Oh, look out. Here comes Ishii. Lethal and unleashed with headbutts in the corner. Great stuff there, and the crowd loving it as well. Brody King, though, again able to counter. I don't know how he does it, but he just seems to find a way. Look out here. Oh, no. Sit out, power bomb. Leg is hooked. Leg is hooked. Is it game over? No, the shoulders have been tied from Ishii. Man, this is only the preview to their match at TakeOver the End. What are we going to get when these two guys are locked in the ring with one another? It's going to be a war. That war may have to wait because Lethal's coming back in here. Irish whip into the corner, the opposite corner. Trying to make his way over, but Hangman Page will tag himself in here. Hangman Page really wants to prove himself in this contest. It would seem Lethal, look out, using Hangman Page as a weapon against Brody King. Hangman Page and all oh, King sent into one another. Miscommunication courtesy of Lethal. Wait a damn minute though. Ishii just hopped off of the apron and he's going right after Brody King at ringside. Ishii wants to show to King. There is no fear in the Stone Pitbull. They're gonna keep on going here. Keep on swinging. Quick, keep on fighting on one another. Look at them go here. It's a good thing neither man is legal in this one. And they may well fight all the way to take over the end. There is a match happening in the ring, but we're much more interested in watching these two horses swinging away at one another. Out of the ring, just bombarding one another with shots. Look at these chops and strikes coming in. Lethal injection in the ring. Lethal injection as Ishii and King fight up the ramp. Jay Lethal wins it in the ring. Lethal does it there. Victory as King and Ishii are separated. 
Rito, meanwhile, celebrates victory, gets the one, two, three, gets the final win in the Hammerstein Ballroom, and may have got his message across to the Miz, whether he's tuning in or not. No distractions are gonna get in his way. Nothing is gonna stop him from achieving his destiny, and that is bit. Oh, here we go again. Miz is here to deliver his message once more. He's brought a gift for Jay Lethal, and it's right. Oh my God! We were all paying attention to the tank drum. Miz came in from behind with a title. He smashed Lethal across the head. Skull crushing finale to Lethal. Miz stands tall over Jay Lethal. Is this how NXT will end?